What is going on YouTube? This is Shahzad Shubud back once again from Gadget Filter channel and in this video I am going to review Flymo S6 for OnePlus X. I will talk about features, performance and bugs of this ROM. So guys sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So before going for review, in this channel we cover gadget reviews, apps and game reviews and custom room reviews just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Any further ado, let's go ahead and see what we have got in this room. So this is the latest version of Flymoist room. The security patch of this room is 1st October 2016 which is very old as well as the version of the Android is also outdated. In this room, you will get two different modes of the home screen. One is normal, as you can see all the apps are in the home screen without any app drawer. And another is easy mode. Here you will get 6 icons per drawer to instant going for any applications. The settings menu also changed with big levels. So the task manager of Flymoes is now turning card and you will also get two useful features of lock and secret. The quick settings panel I found really nice, you will get inbuilt VPN and the layout of security app is more beautiful as well as the icons are customized nicely. The gallery and file manager are customized beautifully. In gallery when you will open an image and swipe it in downside, it will be back to image list automatically. In the file manager app, you will get a recent menu by swiping to the right side. Like most custom UIs from Chinese companies, Flymoes 6 doesn't come with an app drawer but has lots of themes you can use which is really nice. And I love MIUI and Flymoes for these features. In the home screen, if you swipe up, you will get search options for apps, contacts and messages. So the most useful feature in Flymoes is Privacy Guard. You are able to keep private your contacts, photos and videos of your own. The layout of the weather app is stunning as well as the music player is also designed beautifully. In the music player, you will get some useful features also. The power menu looks fresh and minimal and the boot animation that I found really cool. The performance of this ROM is good. This ROM is pretty much smooth and fast. I didn't see any lag there. Battery backup is really good. You will get minimum 4 hours of screen on time. So I am satisfied with the battery performance. The camera of this room is nice, focusing is pretty much accurate, you can take some really nice photos. On this room, the main problem is its language. Most of the things are in Chinese language, sometimes writing is pretty much hard with the built-in keyboard. But the solution is the third-party keyboard, otherwise I didn't find any bug. So guys that's pretty much it, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see this kind of ROM reviews for OnePlus X, like this video, subscribe to this channel. And I will catch you guys very soon in the next one.